What's up guys, LQ here with the LQ Review. Thank you so much for joining me here at my YouTube channel. This is where I talk about all the geeky, nerdy stuff that I love to talk about. Movies, video games, comic books, and TV shows. And there's a bug flying around. And right now, I'm going to talk about Inside Out 2. I missed this one in theaters. And, uh, you know, it was kind of a conscious decision. I have not liked much of what Pixar has put out recently. So I decided to sit this one out in the theaters. But my kids really wanted to see it. So when it came out on uh, Fandango at home, I went ahead, pulled the trigger, and got it for the kids to see. And I sat down and watched it with them. And it was really good. <laughs> it was really good. Uh, I can see why the movie has been such a success in theaters. Because it... It hits all the right beats for a Pixar movie like this. Um, telling the story of Riley as she is getting ready to transition to high school. Her two best friends are going to be going to a different school. And she's figuring out where she fits in all this. You know, where she fits with her friends. Where she, you know, how is she going to fit in the high school? How is she going to make new friends? Hockey is kind of the, um, kind of the mechanism for her making friends. And her and her friends go to a hockey camp to play play on the same team together one last time. And she has to decide, am I going to try to make new friends, try to keep the old friends, or is there some middle ground, or what am I going to do here? And inside her head, all the emotions, joy and anger and sadness and all them, they meet a new emotion, anxiety. And what I loved about this movie is that... You can say anxiety is the villain of the film, but at the end of the film, you learn anxiety is not the villain. Anxiety is just another piece. Anxiety is just another piece that, that Riley has to manage. And that's so true to real life, right? Anxiety can be a really good thing. A really good thing. It can help us get things done. It can help us uh, take care of things that have to happen. It can also be a really bad thing if you let it cripple you and if you let it scare you. It can be a really bad thing. So they definitely do a good job of painting this in in a really in a way that kids can really understand. And I definitely appreciated that. There were some other new characters also. Um, embarrassment. There was an emo one. I think it was like boredom or something like that. Eh, it was okay. But embarrassment was the one that really stuck and obviously anxiety. But this movie like the first one, does a, such a good job of explaining all the things that go on in our heads in a very literal way. I mean, there's a scene in the movie where joy and anger and sadness and these other emotions get put into a bottle and they get trapped into a bottle. And I'm like, that's just such an obvious way to explain it, bottling up your emotions. I, I mean, I just thought it was the way that they do this in the two, both the Inside Out movies in such a literal way that's so obvious, but it works so well. It's it's awesome. So my kids loved it. I loved it. And uh, I wish I wish I'd have gone to see it in theaters. So, you know, Pixar, you might have done a good enough job on this one to get me back in the theaters for your next one. So, all right. Inside Out 2. I know I'm late to the party on this one, but uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. While you're down there commenting, subscribe to my channel. And until next time, we'll see you guys later.